Narada Amina, a parent to a senior four candidate at Kawempe Standard SS in Kawempe Division, has this evening been sent to Luzira for one year or pay a fine of 4.8 million shillings. So court convicted her, sentenced her to a fine of 4.5 million. If she fails to pay, she goes to jail for one year. The reasoning of court was that she was a first-time offender and she didn't waste court's time. She pleaded guilty. The court ruling was delivered by the chief magistrate of Naweru Court, Sanyu Mukasa. I sentence her to pay a fine of 4.8 million Uganda shillings in default. A convict will serve one year's imprisonment. Narada was found guilty of having connived with the one Moses Hamara, the head teacher of Kawempe Standard SS, and hired a bright senior three student to sit the ongoing UCE exams on behalf of her daughter Huda Namuonge. It was a case of impersonation where the auntie to the child hired someone from St. Janan Luum to come and do exams on behalf of, his, of her daughter. So this child, who is in senior three, was in the exam writing the name of the female candidate. As the invigilator was going through the exam, she noticed this anomaly. She realized that the child, the boy, was writing the girl's name while the girl was writing the boy's name. Appearing before the chief magistrate court at Naweru, Narada pleaded guilty and told court that her plan was to pay 350,000 shillings to the bright male students she hired to sit exams on behalf of her daughter. And said that she had promised to pay 350,000. 350, so she actually acknowledged that she engaged, she perpetuated, she instigated this malpractice. So she was planning to pay this boy, assuming he had not been apprehended, to pay 350000 Though she accepted to have committed the offence, the head teacher, who was arrested together with her, denied and pleaded innocent. Hamala Moses pleaded not guilty. Etu um, pleaded guilty. Etu was uh, the aunt to the child who was being assisted in the exam. She pleaded guilty and requested court to be lenient in its sentence because she's a first-time offender. Because Narada pleaded guilty, the court sentenced her to a one-year term in jail or pay a fine of 4.8 million shillings. The head teacher was instead given bail and asked to report to court on 7th of next month. A1, on the other hand, applied for bail, which was granted. This is a bailable offense, and the case is coming up on 7th November. Anna Kamari, the legal officer of UNEB, explained that the suspicion started on Monday this week when confusion arose after the two students used the same index number but with different names. But then evidence shows that the boy is a student of Janan. So that is why you see we need to get this head teacher. Seriously, the head teacher of Kawempe, we need to get him charged and seriously apprehended. One student by the name of Bagenda Emmanuel, aged 17 years, while writing a mathematics paper in the morning, used the index number U1002-099, and at the same time, another student, Namuonge Huda, also used a similar number. A head teacher of the primary seven exams, Kamari, warned that they will leave no stone unturned in arresting exam cheaters and all those who aid the vice. Uh, calling upon the public, please, stay away from examination malpractice. In the absence of an adult, these children, the most they can engage in is collusion where they're in class. But it's not as gross as where an adult is paying money to perpetuate malpractice. So we are calling upon the public, please, the act is here to bite. Although the implicated students have been given a chance to go on with their exams, UNEB officials say they will also have to be produced before the courts of law for the juveniles. According to the new law by UNEB, anyone found committing examination malpractice faces 10 years in prison, a fine of 40 million shillings or both. Download the app on App Store or Google Play Store now. Vision Digital Experience, the future of media.